Hi Pisces, this is a general love reading for May 2021 for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and your Venus signs. It is general, so it's not going to resonate for all of you, but you can check out one of your other signs, you can book a personal reading, or you can check out one of your person's other signs. Also keep in mind that the roles can be reversed, and if you are interested in the personal reading, all the information is in the description box. Please do read it over first. All right, so let's see what is going on with Pisces for May. All right, we have contemplation and we have mirroring. So I guess this goes for the both of you, um, the contemplation. You're both thinking a lot. All right, it could be that you're thinking about what has been going on, where this is heading, just anything in relation to this connection. And it could even be that you are picking up on the other person's thoughts as well. All right, that does tend to happen when we have mirroring. Let's see. There's a lot of deep thinking here, and I do get the sense that it has to do with the future as well, not just what is going on or has been going on. Cards are really energized <laughs> for your reading. All right, let's see. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. First half of May. All right. So for the situation, ooh, we have the Ten of Cups crossed by the Two of Swords. All right, okay. So it could be that there's... Um, that each of you are seeing what happiness is in a different way, possibly um, not really seeing it in the same way. I feel like that is what the challenge is at the moment or that is what is part of the barrier. So you might have one idea of what that means and the other person might have a different idea. However, that love is definitely there though, all right, with the Ten of Cups. It's, it could be that, you know, one person feels like it's possible whereas the other person feels like maybe it's not possible or that things have to be in a certain way in order for this to be possible. Okay, anything like that. Let's see the um, recent past. We have the Three of Cups. Near future, we have the lovers. All right, wow. So it could be that for some of you, there was um, some kind of a connection, some kind of a reconnection, all right? In the recent past, it could have been in any shape or form. It doesn't matter. Um, I may or may not clarify that because it might not be too important here. But what I do see coming up in the near future is just really feeling the intensity of this connection. Um... That's, I mean, that's the lovers. That's love right there. So for you, we have the Eight of Swords. For them, we have the Nine, sorry, the Hermit, which is the number nine. More About You is the Nine of Pentacles. For them, the Nine, that's a lot of Nines. All right, for them, it's the Nine of Swords. And a potential outcome here, we have the High Priestess, okay? And a message for you is the world. All right, so Pisces. It feels like at this point in time, you know, you are either very fearful of where this might be heading. There's something that is scaring you um, about this connection or about where it might be headed that is making you think a lot and possibly overthinking, overanalyzing. And it could be, it feels like you're just trapped in all of these thoughts. I don't see your person being in too much of a different type of an energy because they also have the Nine of Swords. All right, so I, that's <laughs> that mirroring right there, contemplating, but contemplating in a way where it's creating a lot of stress and anxiety. Um, you also do have the Nine of Pentacles, so I do see you working on yourself. I do see you possibly trying to get yourself to be in this place of feeling independent, of feeling very assured in and of yourself, feeling very worthy, just really trying to stand on your feet, possibly trying to get away from whatever it is that is making you feel um, so fearful. All right, it doesn't mean that you're necessarily trying to get away from this connection, although for some of you it could be, especially if you feel like this is unhealthy at the moment, um, but I'm mostly getting that it's just 
trying to get yourself to be grounded and to really get out of this fearfulness, whatever that is. Um, I see your person, again, it feels very, very similar, all right, because they have the Nine of Swords and the Hermit. Um, so they're doing a lot of deep thinking as well, um, soul searching, trying to find themselves, but again, also still in that anxiety and that stress, holding on to certain fears, not sure of what's coming up. Again, I feel like this is future related, thinking, overanalyzing too much about the future and what might happen. And how can this work or can it not work and should I or shouldn't I? It's, it's all of those things. I do like the fact that we have the High Priestess as the um, potential outcome here because that does show coming to a place of being more calm, being more at peace within your own selves as well as being able to tune into your intuition. Because in the energy that you find yourselves in now, it's very difficult to tune into your intuition. So the fact that we have this as a potential outcome tells me that there's this great possibility for you to, for you and the other person to come out of this stress. Otherwise, there's no way you'd be able to align with your higher self and tune into your intuition. All right, and having the world as the um, message here, it does indicate, um, some sort of a completion, some kind of a success. So I do feel like this stressful energy, all right, is, um, can be closed out. All right, so let's clarify. All right, so let me start with the Ten of Cups crossed by the Two of Swords. All right, so we have the High Priestess again and the Page of Pentacles. Yeah, you know, it's kind of like deep down, you both know, you both know intuitively that there's this um, love between the two of you. Again, it just feels like there's something that either somebody's not making a decision, somebody is trying to ignore it, somebody's trying to look the other way, or just not under not wanting to understand or admit that you know there is a solution here. You don't have to be freaking about, <laughs> freaking out about what is coming up or how this is going to work. You know, it, it's just a matter of allowing it to be what it is and allowing it to flow. I feel like somebody is thinking way too much about the practical issues and how it can work practically, or you know how they can approach this, or you know can I offer enough? Am I enough? It's like all of those things. So it could be, for example, that you feel like this person is, is enough as they are, whereas they feel like they're not enough and that, you know, it's not going to be, um, they're not going to be able to offer you what you deserve, for example, okay? It could even be the other way around. That's just an example. All right, let's, let's see the Eight of Swords for your energy. Wow, look at that mirroring. So you get the Hermit, clarifying, um, and the Tower. Wow. All right, so you have the Hermit clarifying the Eight of Swords, which the Hermit is actually in their energy. So do you see that that's, that's that contemplation being mirrored? I do feel like you, if, if, it's, if you don't understand why you're feeling this way and why like you're having crazy thoughts and your mind is like all over the place, See if maybe, you know, you're picking up, picking that up from the other person or vice versa. All right, if you're cross-watching, depending. Either way, I do see that you too are in this state of really trying to figure things out. And I feel like even though you are trying to go within and, you know, really find yourself with, with the hermit, there's this tower here. It's something that is... It, it just, it's feeling very heavy for you. It's feeling very heavy for you. You're feeling like, like there's no way out or what is the solution here? I feel like you're just, you really don't know what to do. But it's interesting because you also do have this Nine of Pentacles and the Hermit. I mean, I, it could be that this is like a phase you're feeling this way, but through it all, it's through this experience of whatever it is that you're going through that you're finding out and learning more about yourself. 
Let me see the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, we have the Three of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune, and the King of Cups. Okay, yeah, I do see you moving away from that, from that type of an energy, all right? The overthinking, it will pass. It will pass. All right, because the more you work on yourself and the more that you try to just really go deep within your own self and not think about the future so much and just focus on the present and just what's going on within you, I feel like things will begin to um, feel lighter. You will be able to find some enjoyment in your day-to-day -day activities, all right? I do see this shift here happening for you. And the shift is going to also bring emotional stability. It's just that things might feel very um, chaotic right now in your mind. And really, it's just all about getting out of your mind. Like, don't... I feel like at the moment, contemplating about the future is not serving you. Keep everything else that you're contemplating about. Keep everything else, you know, going within, um, finding out about yourself. Um, but allow the future to just, you know, unfold itself. All right. Let's see what's going on with the other person here. Let me clarify the hermit. <laughs> the lovers. And the page of swords. All right, okay. So this person, again thinking a lot, um, thinking a lot about you, possibly very, very curious as to what is going on with you, regardless of whether you are in contact or not. Um, and they're feeling that love. I feel like what they're thinking a lot about when they're going within is this connection with you. The strength of it, the intensity of it, just the love that is there between the two of you. And they have this sense of really wanting to understand it, is the way this is coming through to me. They're trying to really understand what it is that, that they feel. Let me clarify the Nine of Swords. Because they're stressed too. Hierophant. This is, I feel like, you know, whatever whatever the connection is here between the two of you, right? We have the lovers twice. Um, we have a lot of major energies um, showing up. We have the Hierophant. This is something really, really important, this connection for the both of you. And the, the other person here is really feeling that. Like, this is something so important, and because I don't know what is going on, and I'm having such a hard time understanding what is going on, either within myself, or either with this other person, or even within the connection, and I don't know what is coming up, it's really causing me to freak out, or and to stress. All right, that's the energy that they are in. Um, again, I do feel that both of you having this hermit, you're both doing your own work from within. You're both having your own struggles, your own fears. Um, but you are both learning about your own selves and through that also understanding this connection more or what it is that is causing the two of you to be apart if you're not together or what is causing the two of you to not agree and to not find this um, like consensus between the two of you as to what is it that can make us happy together? This is not something that this person is taking lightly. This is not something, this person does not see this as a fling. This person does not see this connection as just, and maybe they expected it to be, I don't know. But the fact that we have the Hierophant here and the Nine of Swords, it's like very, very... They're feeling this very, very strongly. This is like a huge deal, this connection. It's a huge deal to this person. So let's see what's coming up. Because um, we have pretty positive cards here um, for the future energies. Let's see the lovers. Okay. 
great. This is so interesting because most of the times I get too many cards popping out and your reading I think started off weird just with the shuffling and then now like not getting many cards because these cards in and of themselves they speak so much all right clarifying the lovers we have the ten of pentacles so coming up in the near future i do see a getting together with this person um very very likely or at least feeling the both of you feeling this love so intensely that there's this strong desire for for commitment for long term um and stable life together I'm not sugarcoating. This is what I'm seeing. Um, wow, it, it's pretty intense. It's pretty intense. So let's see the High Priestess. Oh, okay. So we have the Four of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords. All right, so like I said, there, I do see the both of you being able to come in touch with your intuition, which means you're getting out of this crazy mind energy, right? However, this is just like a little um, precaution or guidance here, you know, to make sure you don't block that from your own self. You know, don't, it, it can be easy to not trust your own intuition and for that reason hold back from listening to it and so the message here is to really you know be mindful of that don't let your intuition just sneak away from you don't just disregard it don't be don't be stubborn <laughs> in other words don't be stubborn here when it comes to your intuition So, final message is the world. Let me just get one clarifier. All right, and we have the chariot. So, again, a lot of major arcana in this reading as well. There was another reading that had at least this many as well. I can't remember which one it was. But, um, yeah, so definitely things, I feel like things are heading in that direction. All right, you are heading in that direction of closing out this chapter of this <laughs> crazy overanalyzing and overthinking about about the future all right um so that's definitely very very positive so pisces if this resonated let's get your final oracle message and please do give me a thumbs up if it did So we had two pop out. We have codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Okay, so that could be a message for somebody. Um, and yeah, it could be that a lot of this overthinking is related to that. Just, you know, um, possibly there might be a codependency between the two of you. And this could be why we're having the um, the the Nine of Pentacles showing up here. because which is showing that you are detaching you and the more you do that the more things feel lighter and the more this shift happens towards being emotionally balanced all right so that could definitely be a message for some of you for others you know just take it as it resonates and then we also have finances and career financial issues are a factor in your love life right now yeah you know so for some of you as i said before you know it could be that that's what's going on here that could be where there might be um, some kind of an insecurity as to how you can find this happiness when it comes to practical issues it could be related to somebody feeling insecure about their finances all right pisces those were your messages thank you so much for watching and much love